Hello and welcome from the Industry of Things World Asia 2018 here in Singapore. I'm here with Liu Chao from 3M Japan. Hi Liu and welcome to the conference. Hi. First of all, I would like to ask you to introduce yourself and your background. My name is Liu Chao and uh, in the current role, uh, I'm the executive director and the chief uh, technical officer and basically responsible for uh, R&D for Japan and a related market. Just before the interview, you uh, held your keynote presentation at the Industry of Things World yep. uh, with the topic Transforming uh, Digital for the Industrial Internet. Yep. Can you give me some more insights into the topics you covered and what the main takeaways from your speech are? Because I'm from 3M, I as a traditional uh, industrial company and uh, the Internet of Things is a challenge because the company has a lot of legacies. So I'd like to share and uh, basically how a traditional industry how to transform itself by leverage the IoT. as a, a very large opportunity. Our companies like 3M uh, are facing some challenges within the IoT space and the new technologies. And how do you work towards overcoming them? I think this is, so when we're looking at uh, the opportunity, it, it, it does have its challenges. So um, especially because the skill set from you know, traditional materials company, now we're talking about we are actually have to develop a lot of capabilities in the electronics, electrical engineering and also the computer science related uh, related area so and we've been actually investing into the uh, into the in the field from 10 plus years ago so and now and starting moving to this air the how to see the era of starting to uh, uh, implementation bring the solution to the customer when we look into some organizations what is it that they can do to be best prepared for all these IOT and the new technological advancements we have to develop our capability internally by all means, because you want to connect it outside world. In the meantime, and because we have to adopt these changes uh, quickly and building the ecosystems, I think it will become more critical. So basically you can do more with less, right? But in the meantime, I think the training and education internally and get literate into the digital and IoT, I think it's critical for the corporation too. When we look into the manufacturing and the industrial IoT space within the coming two to three years, for example, uh, where do you see the biggest changes and which industries do you think will be affected most by it? I think all the industry will be challenged per se. Um, it, they, if you not adopt the change quickly, I think that company will, will be impacted very, uh, how to say, uh, very largely. Um, and if I can say the, the few things that the company have to really start working on their strategy and looking at how, how can they do. Um, but from another view, I also think about the company have, uh, you know, because since it's the starting, uh, starting of the digitization IoT uh, era, so the companies still have a lot of opportunities, but starting from building some fundamentals, right, including uh, basically industrial standards, right, including some fundamental architectures and systems. And uh, another key thing is basically have to really look into the, the hiring talents in the area. What are your first impressions of the conference so far and what are you hoping to take away after two days here? The industry of things, uh, World Asia, it already have the track record and uh, they're doing a very good job to bring industry together. It's not just one, one industry, but bring cross industry together, building that systems already. So I think the, uh, the, the, this is a lot, many sessions, this is very good. Not only the, the presentation session, but also the session that bring people together, the icebreaker sessions, and also the you know uh, uh, you know lunch sessions or so, also provide great opportunity uh, for industry leaders and uh, practitioners come over to interact. Uh, and uh, I personal, personally learned uh, just a couple of things in the morning too, and uh, a few activities in Japan and also in Southeast Asia area is also very beneficial for you know for my daily work. Thank you very much for your insights and your time, and have a great rest of the day here. Thank you very much.